Hey fellow survivors, Skippy0330 with a quick tutorial here on how to revert to Alpha 19 farming where you just punch the plant, goes back down to the seedling and grows again. This mod does that for you, but also removes the chance of a seed dropping. So it goes kind of right back to that style of farming in Alpha 20. So those who prefer it, you can do these quick steps. They're not too hard, even a beginner can do them. Your first step is going to be going and actually downloading the mod. So what I'm going to do is put the link for it in the top pinned comment. You'll always want to come here even a couple months down the road to see if this mod's been updated for future versions. This is the 7 Days to Die forum and I'm in the mods category. And this gentleman named uh, Psycho, I believe that's how it's pronounced anyway has made this quick mod here they like to call these mod lits in seven days to die so we're going to go through the steps so you're going to go ahead and click on the download link that he provides you and most modders do use github like this just go simply up to the top here where it says code and go and download zip there you are so what it will give you is the alpha farm 19 farming it'll give you all of this and you can choose which ones you want to install so you can uh, craft empty cans sewing kit uh, fix the feather probability to be 0.25 if not using butcher tools so just small changes you can make to the game uh, in vanilla now once you have that downloaded you can go to it and i'm sure most browsers are the same i'm using chrome myself we're going to go and uh, right click on it and go show in folder so now you can see that this is the zip file. So if you double click on it here, you can go into it and you can find uh, the mods that you need. So we're simply gonna go copy, uh, right click here, copy or control C. Okay, now that you have that copied, we're gonna go into Steam and this is how we're gonna be able to find your uh, seven days to die modding files and we'll get those pinned for you too. So you go to seven days to die under your library here, right click on it, go to properties, down to local files, and then you can browse right here. There we go. And it'll pull that up for you. There's other ways to get to it, but as a beginner, I think this is the simplest way. So in here, we can find our seven days to die information. So we want to actually come out here to common. This will help you guys greatly. And you can go right click on seven days to die here and you can go pin to quick access. I already actually have it in there. So now if I want to come back to this folder, all I do is simply click on it in the quick access at the top here. Anyway, what we want to do in here now, if you don't have it yet, is you want to go right click new folder. Once you got that folder made, you want to name that folder mods with a capital M. And there we go. So now we have a mods folder in seven days to die. And if you right click in there, you can uh, go, I'm sorry, if you click into mods, you can go right click and then paste. There we are. So now you have the farming mod in here for seven days to die. Now you can do this with as many mods as you want. There might be conflicts guys just because there's small little changes in the xml for the game so uh, just keep in mind every time you add one you're going to want to go and test out the mod but now what we're going to do is we're actually going to go and test that out i'm going to launch seven days of die into my testing world and here we are in my test world let's go ahead look at this potato plant that is fully grown give it a slap and bam look at that you got a potato down to the seed level here again it'll grow and one potato in your inventory and no seeds so that's how that works guys right back to alpha 19 farming i hope you're a fan of that if you are hit the like button let me know down in the comments below and stay classy